A scroll saw is a small electric or pedal-operated saw that is useful for cutting intricate curves in cases where a jigsaw or coping saw is not appropriate. It is capable of creating curves with edges. It is named after its traditional use in making scrollwork, which are sculptural ornaments that feature scroll head designs. Comparisons, it is somewhat similar to a band saw, but unlike band saws, in which the saw blade is a continuous loop. Scroll saws use saw blades similar to those of coping saws and operate through a quick reciprocating up and down motion. A scroll saw has two main advantages when compared to a band saw. The first is that the blade can be removed and placed in situ through a pre-drilled starting hole. This feature allows interior cutouts to be made without creating an entry slot for the blade through the edge of the workpiece. Second, a scroll saw can cut significantly more intricate curves. Brands, many different brands of scroll saws are on the market today. Henna, Notable, Eclipse, and DeWalt, Excalibur. There are also a number of less expensive scroll saws manufactured in Asia, including those from Delta, Dremel, Craftsman, Ryobi, and others. Size, scroll saws are classified according to the size of their throat, which is the distance from the blade to the rear frame of the saw. The throat depth determines how large a piece of wood can be cut. Smaller saws have a throat of as little as 12 inches, while commercial saws can approach 30 inches. Before the era of computer automation, industrial saws were sometimes used to make even larger objects by hanging the top mechanical linkage from the ceiling, thus providing an arbitrarily deep throat. Scroll saws vary in price from under $100 to close to $2,000. The more costly saws are more accurate and easier to use, usually because they minimize vibration. Uses Scroll sawing is a popular hobby for many woodworkers. The tool allows a substantial amount of creativity and requires comparatively little space. In addition, many scroll saw projects require little more than the saw itself, reducing the investment in tools. Scroll saws are often used to cut intricate curves and joints a task they can complete quickly and with great accuracy. They can also be used to cut dovetail joints and are a common tool for thicker intarsia projects. When a fine blade is used, the kerf of a scroll saw is all but invisible. Along with brand saws, scroll saws are used with modern intarsia. Scroll saws are comparatively safe. In particular, inadvertent contact between the blade and the operator's fingers are unlikely to result in serious injury. Mode of operation, there are several types of scroll saws. The most common design is the parallel arm, in which a motor is attached near the back of the arms and the two arms always remain parallel to each other. The C-arm variant uses a solid C-shaped arm, with the blade being mounted between the two ends of the C. The parallel link type, used by Hawk, Excalibur, and DeWalt, has rods in the upper and lower arms that are pushed by the motor to move short articulated arms which hold the blade. The rigid arm scroll saw was popular until the 1970s but is no longer made. It has a single piece cast iron frame. The blade is attached to a pitman arm on the bottom, which pulls the blade down. A spring in the upper arm pulls the blade back up again. This design has a significant weakness in that the tension on the blade changes with every stroke. Modern scroll saws are all constant tension designs. Blades With the exception of blades made for very light-duty saws, typical scroll saw blades are 5 inches long. The major types are, skip tooth which have a tooth, a gap, and then another tooth. Double skip tooth. Crown or two-way, which have teeth facing both up and down so that the blade cuts on both the down stroke and the up stroke. Spiral blades which are essentially regular flat blades with a twist, so that teeth project on all sides. Metal cutting blades made of hardened steel. Diamond blades, for cutting glass. Blades come in many weights, ranging from number 10 0 to number 12, which is similar to a small bandsaw blade. Another variation is called a reverse tooth blade. On reverse tooth blades, the bottom three quarters of the teeth are reversed. This arrangement helps to reduce splintering on the bottom edges of the cut. However, it does not clear sawdust out of the cut as well as a regular blade, so cutting is slower and produces more heat. This heat reduces blade life and makes scorching of the workpiece more likely. 
Reverse tooth blades are especially useful when cutting softwood and plywood such as Baltic birch. The latest variation is called Ultra Reverse. These blades are configured with four to five teeth down and then one up and is repeated through the length of the blade. The blade clears dust very well and leaves a much cleaner back. These blade sizes range from number one through number nine. References Further reading, Jensen, Lawrence, Veledska Urbagen, 1986, ISBN ISBN 87 7490 263 6.